Waterford School was opened on a mountainside at the edge of Mbabane in 1963. The first students were 16 boys. Over the next couple of years, the school grew exponentially and with it, support for its ethos and mission. In 1967, King Sopoza II, the Ingwenyama of Swaziland, granted Waterford School the name Gamthaba. Waterford played a small yet significant role in the struggle for racial equality in the Southern African region, educating the children of Nelson Mandela, Walter Sisulu, Desmond Tutu, Nobel Prize winning novelist Nadine Godima, the first president of Botswana Sir Seretse Khama, and the revolutionary leaders of Mozambique Samora Machel and Eduardo Monzani. Michael Stern and the co-founders of Waterford Gamtlaba wanted all students who qualified academically to be able to attend regardless of their ability to pay, making funds for bursaries a necessity. The scholarship program has got a number of aspects to which which are very important. Through the scholarship program, we're able to ensure diversity of the student body within the college. So the students that are attending the college will come from all economic backgrounds. And that's important in terms of integration of students and also part of the learning of students from each other. WK is not just a school for the elite. WK is not a school that sits on top of a hill that is divided from the rest of community. WK is about everybody having an equal opportunity, finding a home here away from home. The scholarship program allows students from low-income families and students who would not have access to this type of quality education to come here and better their experience. Without the scholarship program, a lot of our students who benefit our community incredibly well would not be able to be here. Today, the school has over 600 students representing 60 nationalities. For 60 years, Waterford has proven that young people can look and work beyond the barriers set by governments and politicians. They can create a peaceful, welcoming environment that doesn't judge an individual based on their race, religion or social economic status. Most importantly, the school believes in making education a force to unite people, nations and culture for peace and a sustainable future. The college has a great legacy around diversity, equity, inclusivity and justice. From the onset, you get a sense that diversity drives us. It moves us. It's one of the pillars that we ascribe to. We are a people driven together by a common mission. We are from different parts of this world. But we come together because we have a greater sense of purpose. Our diversity allows us to learn together. The education that is provided here at Waterford is a once in a lifetime opportunity. An opportunity that is rare not only in the world, but also significantly rare within Africa. This institution in particular, bringing together people from all over the world, um, is an incredible way to make education a force to unite people. And beyond that, it also encourages us to also take pride in who we are. And that is the education that is brought forward by, by Waterford Gamsaba. Through WK's dynamic program, anchored in the United World College education model, young people are empowered and assisted to reach their potential academically, morally, socially, and emotionally. The WK is proud to deliver a value-based education that fosters the development of critical skills and the confidence for students to thrive in our world. However, all this costs money and your proud contribution can change the path of a student's life. There's a great opportunity for donors of every, um, from every part of the world to contribute to the scholarship program. No amount is too small and um, obviously no amount is too big either. But it's an opportunity where you are given to make a, a significant impact on an individual's lives and on lives of people who otherwise would not have such great opportunities that are of global consequence and global impact. Um, every United World College will talk a lot about diversity um, and whether that's national diversity or 
racial diversity or gender diversity, but the the key thing that we're always striving for is more socioeconomic diversity because, as many people say, the real differences in the world are not to do with whether you're from Canada or Bangladesh or Algeria or Angola. So it's really important that um, we continue to foster this socioeconomic diversity and that's only possible through the um, generous support of, of the donors uh, that we've had for many years and the new donors. Uh, coming on board and I know for a fact that it's hugely fulfilling and rewarding for the for the teachers here to work with people from so many different uh, types of background. So it's about leveraging on our position here to be able to reach out and provide an opportunity for that less fortunate child out there and to be able to give them the scholarships. We reach out to our donors, we reach out to partners, we reach out to our members of our community because through them we are able to effect this and do it in a more meaningful manner. A significant phrase of learn, earn, return still resonates within Waterford Gamthab. So once our students have gone through the system, they become our alumni. And we expect that they will have learned. And they go out and earn, they work, they impact, they create opportunities for others. They are the ones who can become entrepreneurs. They are the ones who can become researchers. They are the ones who can actually be out there to provide opportunities for others who are coming from them. And therefore the calling is for them to return and give back to the community because they have also benefited from the same. So it's about coming, finding your space, finding your voice, finding the right skill set, going out, making worthy of those experiences that you have had here and then returning into the community and being able to give back. That is the essence of an education from WK. The world is changing so fast and it's so dynamic around us all the time. And it's important that young people are equipped with quality education that will enable them to adapt and to be able them to lead and, and be um, citizens of a changing world. And so through education, young people are able to, um, to become uh, change leaders in, in, in the world around them and for the people around them as well. Waterford Gamtlaba commits to upholding and advancing this legacy and also commits to continue providing quality international education through which leaders will be produced who will positively impact the world.